Total Yarnivore's Fiber Spider, back by popular demand to continue with the Kaleidoscope Blanket. All right, so we are on section 3.4, so we're doing the last triangle of this side, um, and uh, we've done all three of these prior, so we've got the last side here, and let's hop right into it. So, for the first color, the charcoal gray that I'm using, it's going to be a total of four rows. So, as always, if you've been following along, we go three to the right. So it's one, two, and three, because we have our center space in here. So third to the right, right in that stitch there. And we pull up our yarn, and we chain one and do a single crochet into that same stitch. And then we go immediately into this center space with our three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. I wasn't at first sure that I was going to keep going, but like I said, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys, which are, hey, more than welcome. A lot of comments saying that you want me to keep doing this, so here I am. So we've got our three double crochets, our chain two, and then we do three more double crochets. Now, I just never want to bore you guys, you know. That is not my intention. I'm screwing it up already. Pardon me. One, two. There we go. One. Two. And. Three. Okay. <clears throat> Chain one. And then we go into the third down here. So that's this one right there. And we go in with a slip stitch, like so, chain two, and then we go over three more. Chain space always counts as one, so that's one, two, three, so into the middle, right there. We do a single crochet. <laughs> and then we turn our work, which is getting bigger. My goodness. So please be patient with me while I readjust all this. All right. So then into this space down here, we do two more double crochets because we have to finish our cluster. Chain one do our two clusters separated by a chain two space, so that's three double crochets. One more. And then a chain two. One, two. And then three double crochets. Ta -da. Chain one. All right, and then into this space down in here, we do another cluster. Like so. Chain one. And then we need to skip to the third on this side. So that's one two and three. This middle one right here, we do a slip stitch like so. And then we chain two, one, two, skip over to the third again. So that's one, two, and three. So it's the first double crochet of that cluster with a single crochet into that stitch. We turn our work again. A 
adjust ourselves. And then we do two more doubles down into this space here. Like so. There we go. Chain one. And then another cluster and then our two clusters up there. Yeah, I really must say that I am so thrilled every time I see a picture of what you guys are creating. Such beautiful, beautiful pieces with such gorgeous color combinations. Absolutely love it. And I love that you guys are willing to share with me and the rest of the community because that's how we get new ideas and that's how we grow. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm just blown away. Absolutely blown away. And some of you guys are just tearing right along, you know, and I'm thoroughly delighted that I have been of some help and some inspiration and that you're, you're going with it, you know, like Speed Racer, you know. And I'm beyond delighted. And I would love to see, you know, even more. And not even just this particular project, but also whatever other project you guys are working on. I'm not biased, you know. I'm not, I'm not partial. <laughs> All right, so since this is the corner, we've got our two clusters separated by chain two. And we're going to continue along down this side here. You know, so if you're working on perhaps, you know, uh, some sort of garment or some sort of stuffed animal, amigurumi, um, you know, or really what have you, I would love to see your work. And um, as I've said before, I am on Instagram, uh, also under Fiber Spider, and I also have a community page as well on Facebook. And a lot of people have been posting and the, just, just all of the feedback and the comments and the pictures, I, I couldn't be happier. Really, you guys make my day. I love it. All right, so now we need to finish over here. So going into the third stitch again, so that would be one, two, because that chain is another one, and then into this first double crochet, we do a slip stitch, like so. All right, so we need to do one more row, because we've got one, two, and three. So one more with the gray. So it's a chaining up of two, go into the third. So that is going to be one, two, and three into that chain stitch there. We're going to do a single crochet stitch. And yes, I know it's a little bit of a beastie, but you guys can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. There we go. And then finish it as a single crochet. All right. And then we turn our work. And I'm just going to adjust my stitching here, and then we will finish this row. All right, so we're going to have to do two more double crochets into that space down in there so that we can finish up our first cluster, like so. Chain one, do another cluster into this chain space. And I must apologize for waiting so long to keep up with this crochet along because, well, for one thing, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted me to continue. And for another thing, I have been working my little stuff off, um, you know, working on so many projects all at the same time because, well, I'm a multitasker to the nth degree. <laughs> All right, so we do two clusters in here, separated by chain two space. You know, shawls and blankets and 
more shawls. I've never done so many shawls as I have since starting this channel. I, uh, I tell you, um, but they're fun. You know, it's very freeform sometimes. I rather enjoy that. There we go. So chain one, and then we do our clusters down this side. You know, and uh, if you've been following my other playlists, you'll know that I recently finished my audiobook reading of Alice in Wonderland, and I am so happy to have finally finished that because it is one of the audiobooks that I've been doing almost since the beginning of this channel um, because I've always had an affinity for Alice in Wonderland. It is a childhood favorite that never stopped being a favorite. And so I'm, I'm glad that I can say, yes, I did it. I finished it, you know, pat myself on the back, but keep going, you know, <laughs> never stop. Okay, so for the last, I'm going to go into here, into that space, because that's the thing. An object in motion tends to stay in motion, so I would rather stay in motion. Never do I ever wish to uh, rest on my proverbial laurels. Mm -mm, nope. All right, so that is the end of our fourth row. So we need to do a slip stitch into the third. So that's one, two, and three. So into that chain stitch, we need to do a slip stitch like so, and boom. All right, so because that is the end of the work that we're going to do with the gray, we snip snip. Sorry for that noise. It's my scissors and my hook. Okay, so very nice that we got that done. Then we turn our work once again. And we're going to go on to utilizing the white yarn, which I have handy. Mm -hmm. Always be prepared. <clears throat> Yeah, so I've been working on a lot of different projects. You know, since I finished Alice in Wonderland, I decided that it might be fun to go completely in a different direction, and I started doing a recording of the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, and I read it once before when I was in college, and I rather enjoyed it, and I thought, hmm, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so again, we need to go three over. So that's one, two, and three. So it's the third double chain, sorry, third double crochet of this cluster, right into there. And we pull up our loop, chain one, and do a single crochet right into there, like so. And we make sure that the, the gray is a little bit taut. We go right in to this space with our first, oops, <laughs> our first double crochet. There we are. And voila. All right, and then we continue along as we have been. So yeah, I, I thought that it would be neat to do the picture of Dorian Gray because I do like Oscar Wilde and um, it's a bit of a romance, it's a bit of a horror, um, and it's about artists. So hey, we can relate, can't we? <laughs> Although I'm not much of a painter. Um, so, you know, started doing that and I was thinking, well, when I finish my reading of The Wizard of Oz, because I would say I'm about halfway to more than halfway done with that, where to go to next, huh? I don't know. 
Always open to suggestions, you know me. All right, so we continue along this side because the Wizard of Oz series, there's, I believe, about 15 books that uh, Mr. L. Frank Baum did, and I'm not going to do all 15 in a row. Mm -mm, no, I would not do that to you. Maybe over time, because he was very prolific as a writer of children's books. And, I mean, the first book, yes, it's Dorothy and Oz and the whole nine yards, but what he did was he took characters from his books, and then he gave them books all their own. Okay, so just to recap, we've gone all the way up the side, our two clusters with a chain two space. Yeah, because the, the Tin Woodman, there's a book about him, one about the Scarecrow, um, one about Dorothy specifically, um, you know, and then as he continued to write, um, other characters were introduced, like TikTok, the Mechanical Man, and Jack Pumpkinhead, and Glinda, and just lots and lots and lots of characters, and Princess Mombi, and actually there was a really good sequel to The Wizard of Oz uh, done in the 1980s, I believe it was. It was called Return to Oz. Now, be forewarned, it is dark. <laughs> it is a very dark, and for younger viewers, it is a scary movie. I will say that. Okay, so we're going to finish the last cluster by going into this space down in here. But it absolutely mesmerized me as a child. It stars, I believe, Feruza Balk, who was later in life more known for being in the movies The Craft and The Water Boy. But in this one, she was a little girl. All right, so we have to... I'm going to interrupt myself here, my little anecdotes. So we go into the third again. So that's one, two, and three with a slip stitch. There we are. Chain two. Go to the third again. One, two, and three. With a single crochet. There we are. And then we turn the work. Yeah, so with Return to Oz, you have little Dorothy. She's back in Kansas with her aunt and uncle, and they think that she's gone a little crazy. She's talking about this magical world with talking animals, and they want her to get some psychiatric help. Yeah, so it starts off as a little dark story for Dorothy there. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do the second two double crochets into this stitch space down in here. And so not giving away too terribly much, uh, she does manage to find her way back into Oz and has more adventures with more characters. But it, I again, I'm telling you, it is somewhat sinister, um, and parts of it terrified me as a child. Then again, times have changed, and a lot of the things that children see these days, they would laugh at now at things that used to creep me out insufferably when I was a child. So, eh, you know, times change, but... I would very much recommend it. I, I think it's really quite a good movie. Return to Oz, definitely. Um, so getting back to my point, yes, there were a lot of books based around the land of Oz. And, you know, eventually I'd like to read more of them, but I want to pace myself, you know? No rush. Same thing with uh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so we're in the corner. So we do our cluster chaining of two, another cluster into the same space. You know, 
I mean, I could go directly on to Alice Through the Looking Glass, which I love that book, um, parts of it even more than Wonderland, but I want to pace it. I don't want to rush it with you guys. I want to do some other things as well first, which I think is only fair. There we go. And one more. And I'll chain one. And I need to keep shifting my work here, getting a little unruly, just like me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue our stitches down this way. <clears throat> okay. And also I have some further ideas for some more poetry readings as well. Because, I mean, I, I love Robert Frost, and um, I'm rather enjoying his work, although I have ideas for even more poets and things, and I'm just really enjoying the whole process of coming up with new stuff for you guys. I really am. All right, so we're almost done with this row. So again, into this bottom space here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 and three, chain one, and then we skip over to the third, so that's one, two, and three, with a slip stitch. Okay, and that's the same one at the last row, right? Yep, good. Yeah, see, that's the middle one over there, so it is the middle one over on this side, too. All right, and then what we're going to need to do is chain two and then go into the third again, one, two, and three. So it's the first double crochet of this cluster with a single crochet and turn our work and refresh ourselves with another sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I turned my work and we're going to continue on. Now this is going to be the last row of the white for this triangle. So we do two more double crochets into the base here. Like so. Chain one, and we continue working our way up. <coughs> yeah, so aside from Robert Frost, I would also like to continue by reading I'm thinking perhaps some more of Edgar Allan Poe's poetry. Um, Lewis Carroll, he did some more poetry as well. Emily Dickinson, um, and uh, you know, I've 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 got some ideas in mind. Always looking for ideas. There we are. Oops. And I think, if I remember the poet correctly, uh, that I got a book on uh, Carl Sandburg, if I'm remembering the name correctly, a um, book of poems by him. And so, yeah, I'm always trying to come up with new things for you guys. I want to keep it interesting, fresh, because I do believe that my channel is about the three E's. Educate, like what I'm doing right now. Entertain and enlighten. And I figure with those, I'm going to keep forging ahead and do the best that I can. All right, and I keep having to pull out yarn. And I have a bit of a little knot here. Sorry. I'm trying. I am. All right. So since we're in the corner, we chain up two again. And another cluster in that same space. Oops. 
There we go. Alrighty. Now, and on the side from doing everything that I'm doing as far as prep work and video work and so forth for this channel, um, I have a number of projects that I'm working on independently as well, uh, and books and things. I'm, I'm still working on rereading The Fellowship of the Ring from the Lord of the Rings series of books by Tolkien, and rather enjoying that. Hopefully I can keep at it long enough to finish it this time. You never know. But I'm trying. That's the point. I am trying. All right, so we're almost done with this row. And I'm also still reading that other book, The Girl with All the Gifts. Sort of zombie-esque theme of a book, that one. It's, it's quite good. You know, I just wish there were more hours in the day, you know? <laughs> All right. And we're almost done with this row. And then we're going to go into the purple. Mm -hmm. Love the purple. Chain one. And if I could scooch this down a little. There we go. And then another cluster down into here. <clears throat> there we are. Oops. There we are. And then, last but not least, we need to do a chain one, and then we need to go into the third once more. So that would be one, two, and three. The first double crochet right there with a slip stitch. Do I have all of my plies? Yes, I do. All right. And so we snip our work. All right. And that, my dears, is the end of the, the white. So, so far, we've got four gray and three white. Three white. All right. So we're going to do the purple and then we will be done with this triangle. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we snipped our yarn here, and now we have to flip our work once again. Straighten ourselves out a bit. Doo -doo -doo. And so now we have our purple yarn. Yes, indeed. <laughs> white tail out of the way there. All right, so again, we need to go into the third to the right. So we're in this one, so it's one, two, three. So it's into this chain stitch here. Going to do, Oop, see, there we go. A little tricky, but we got it. And Pull up a loop. Chain one and single crochet into that same stitch, like so. And then we do our clusters into this first space here. Make sure that the, the white is a little bit taut but of course. And we do our three doubles into the space, like so. And we continue to work our way along this side. And 
we're going to be doing the purple for a total of four rows. So it's four rows in gray, three in white, and then four in purple. Now, of course, you know, you can mix up your colors however you so wish. This is just how I'm doing it. You know, by all means, I do encourage you to go off on whatever tangent you want, but if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. The more the merrier. I like the company. And from your comments, I gather that you guys do too. And yes, I do read all of your comments. I may not respond to all of them, but I read them all. Believe you me. And every day when I wake up and I see them, I think, hmm, that's nice. <laughs> because by and large, you guys are awesome. You know, always inspiring me to keep going, keep trying. And I love it. And I can't thank you enough for that. It's a wonderful way to wake up. I mean, granted, my phone... When I turn my phone on in the morning, it kind of explodes with notifications sometimes. But hey, that's fun. It's like Christmas every day. All right, so we're almost up the length of this side. All right, so we need to do a chain two and two more. Sorry, a chain two and another cluster of the three here if I could get all of my plies in order. <clears throat> there we go. Mm. All right, so now we're gonna work our way along this edge here. Also, I must say that I did have a tentative idea, and I'm interested in a little bit of feedback from you guys, because as you know, I do listen. So I was kind of thinking and mulling over the idea, if you guys would like to share pictures of your work, whether it be for this project or another project um, that you're working on. Uh, for right now, preferably this project, the Kaleidoscope Granny, if you guys would like to share photos of what you're working on, I was thinking about maybe doing a video where I give you guys not just a shout out saying, oh, and Thank you to such and such and such and such. No, actually show your work on one of my future videos. Um, and that way you guys, you know, everybody will see your work. Why not? You guys deserve it, you know? So if, if you're interested, please let me know because I think that would be a really fun idea. You know, do a slideshow with you know, pictures that you guys submit. Now, the ones that I have already seen on Instagram and on my Facebook page, if it's pre-existing, I'm not going to touch it because, you know, I haven't gotten permission. You know, I, I respect that. But if you guys post a picture of this project, the Kaleidoscope Granny, and you would like me to share it in a future video, let me know. Definitely let me know. And I think that that could be potentially a really fun way of showcasing you guys. Because you guys deserve it. I, I, I shouldn't get all the attention. No, you guys are great too. You know, and some of your color choices and the way you do your stitches, hey, you deserve a pat on the back too. <laughs> All right, so we reached the end of this row. We chain one. 
because we went into that bottom space there. So we chained one, and now we need to go into the third once again, right? So one, two, and three, going into that chain stitch. Oops. Oh, oh dear. There we go. And we do a slip stitch, like so, right? Chain two. We find the third again. So that would be one, two, and three. So it's the third double crochet of this cluster. We do a single crochet, and then we turn our work. My goodness, I've got so much fabric, so much blanket fabric, ah. granny fabric. All right, oh, excuse me for a moment. All right, so we're going to do the remaining two double crochets into the base here. And then we will continue on our way for the remainder of this row as per usual. Nothing's changed. So yeah, like I was saying, if you guys are interested, you know, let me know and I will see what I can do about showcasing you guys in a future video. I think it might be fun, you know. And if nothing else, it's an idea, right? And that's how things happen with ideas. And then when they're put into action, hey, sometimes they're pretty cool, right? Now, I must stress, this is not a contest, okay? This is not a popularity contest. This is not like, ooh, you know, let me show off, you know, kind of thing. No, 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 no. This is my way of saying, hey, you guys are awesome. And if you want to show other people that, you know, you're proud of your work as very well you should be, you know, because I've seen some really beautiful pieces so far. Um, you know, so if you guys would like to do that, um, like I said, I have... Actually, the best place to do it would be to go to my... Facebook page. It's a community page on Facebook under Fiber Spider. And my little crocheted face is on there. And, um, you know, so post a picture of the kaleidoscope granny that you're working on. It doesn't have to be finished by any means. No, no, no. It could be a work in progress. That's fine. But, you know, definitely, um, you know, post a picture, and, you know, if you would like for me to share it on a future video, please specify that, because I am not about to assume anything. Mm -mm, no, I know better than that. All right, so we've reached the corner, so we do our two clusters separated by a chain two space, and yeah, we'll go from there, okay? So, yeah, I'm throwing out ideas. You know, I'm creatively brainstorming, and since I've been spending the better part of an hour talking to myself, that's saying something. <laughs> that's what I do, right? Okay, so we're going to continue on down this side with more clusters. And also, I think that it would be a nice way for us as a crocheting community to share even further. Yeah. And if you don't like the idea, well, that's okay too. I won't take it personally. All right, so we're gonna continue along this edge. And we're going to do two more rows after this, so we can still kibitz a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Very nice. And 
Now, another thing is that after I am done with this triangle, let me just pull out my yarn a little. After I'm done with this triangle, there's still the, the two rows uh, that go around the entire square connecting it all. Now, I've done the exact same thing um, in some previous videos. Um, and, you know, I can put a link in the description box um, because the only difference with this crochet along from here until the end of the project, quite frankly, you know, I love doing this, but the only difference um, as I continue on with this project is the number of rows used per triangle, you know, as it keeps growing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to do our last cluster into this space here. So my point is, is that to do a separate video just for those two rounds that go around the entire uh, circumference of the, the square, so to speak, to me that almost seems a little silly. You know, I could be wrong, by all means. All right, so we chain one and then we find the third once again. So that would be one, two, and three. The third, double crochet, we do a slip stitch into there. There we go. And then we chain two, one, two. And then we find the third. So that would be one, two, and three right into here. And we do a single crochet. <clears throat> and then we turn our work. Yeah, so if you want, I could do a video, if you feel it necessary, um, doing those two rounds, you know, um, or I could jump right in after doing those two rounds on my own and then continue on doing more triangles. It, really, it's up to you. You know, I do this channel for you guys. So I will definitely listen to whatever comments you have. What you... Blah, 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 tongue tied. <laughs> it's late, I'm sorry. Um, I will listen to whatever comments you guys have. Um, you know, if you want for me to do those two rounds in a separate video, um, or if you want me to just jump right ahead into the next set of triangles, I'm all ears, by all means. You know, because the two rounds, it's very much the same exact thing um, as we've done previously, you know. But the triangles, well, yes, it's a no different number of rounds because it keeps growing. So that I could understand doing a video for. Ultimately, I'm here to please you guys. I'm here to educate and make you guys happy. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, so we're approaching the apex of our third row. Almost at the corner. Too much fabric here, I'm sorry. Now, and yes, as this grows bigger, it's going to be trickier and trickier for me to do the filming for it because um, my current setup is I am currently sitting on my bed with my legs crossed and I have a small tripod set up in front of me, in front of my shins, and <laughs> um, I'm hunched over 
and I've got my work in front of me, and it's a little tricky, but hey, I'm always into a good challenge, as you guys know. Um, but as far as the, the size of this piece, the more it grows, the more difficult it is. But I'm, I'm willing to try if you guys are willing to keep watching. All right, so we keep going, doing our second cluster into that same space. Come on. There we go. See? So, we're three up. When we finish this row, we've got one more to go. Woohoo! Of course, I have a bunch of other projects that I'm working on. You know, I have some ready that all I need to do is actually do the tutorials on them. The finished products are ready, but you know, it's just a matter of pacing everything out. I've got a poncho and another shawl, and I'm working on a bag, and I've got some knitted stuff for those of you that knit. Busy, busy, busy. But hey, you, you guys know I'm always busy. You know, I never stop. I make a hummingbird look lazy. <laughs> So we're almost done with this row. And then we'll be in the home stretch, right? All right. Just a couple more clusters. so close. All right, so into this space down here, we do our last cluster here. Okay, then we chain one, and then we go into the third once again. So that would be one, two, and three. That's the middle one with a slip stitch. And then, because we've reached the end of the road, we chain up three, one, two, and three, and then we turn our work, and then we will do the last of our rows. Just fix my work, and then we'll keep going. All right, I think I'm good to go. Okay, so we chained up three, we turn to the work, and then into the space down here, we do two more doubles. Like so. There we go. So I've got last cluster of this side. And this side is going to connect over, just like before. Chain one, and we continue to work our way across this side here. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, so, getting back to the audiobooks, I was thinking perhaps once I finish with uh, The Wizard of Oz, I was thinking about perhaps The Secret Garden, or The Wind and the Willows, or I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm always debating until I finally 
decide upon something and I actually start it. I'm always in the process of debating, but that's part of the fun, don't you think? The whole life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get kind of thing. So I just go with it. Yeah, I mean, you never know what each day is going to bring. So you open your eyes and you go from there. Alrighty. So let's continue our way along here. Yeah, and I have read A Secret Garden um, a number of times on my own, and I've always found it to be so hmm, beautiful, magical. You know, I mean, it's not quite a fantasy story. I don't, I wouldn't say it's a, I don't know, there's just something very beautiful about it. You know, the wind in the willows, uh, pulls my heartstrings every time. I love it. <laughs> You know, it's about how we're all different, and we all live in different ways, and yet we can coexist. And we can all be friends. In spite of our differences of lifestyle. At least that's one of my many interpretations of the story. <laughs> you know, like those bumper stickers that I see every now and then that say coexist. Why not? We're all on this earth. I mean, I'm not saying in a, a hippie sort of way, sort of like a, a nouveau hippie kind of way, you know, peace, love, and happiness. No, just be good to each other. Why not? Okay. So we are in the tail end here, the home stretch. Just go down this side, and then we can connect our slip stitches, our remaining slip stitches, and then we will be in business. Indeed. My little yarnivores and spiderettes and arachnids. <clears throat> so close. I always get such a feeling of satisfaction and gratification when I've got another part done, I'm like, yay! <laughs> I get a little giddy. I can't help it. All right. So close. <laughs> and it's funny that I'm this... Well, I don't know if I'm giddy or if I'm... You know, it's because I'm overtired. I got maybe... About two hours of sleep. I woke up at approximately six in the morning and worked a full eight hour shift and went on a coffee binge. And right now it is 1241 in the morning. Going from the AM to the AM. <laughs> but, hey, I really wanted to do this part of the crochet along for you guys because I felt I've been getting enough comments and enough requests that I was not by any means going to ignore them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Booyah. Because you guys are like my second family. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. All right. So now, hmm, <laughs> we've reached the end of the road, right? Okay, so straightening things out just a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do 
as before is end it with a chain one and we're going to slip stitch into the top chain over here. So that is right up into here. Be sure to get both loops like so. Sorry for the squeakies. All right, and we slip stitch. Ta-da! And then we snip snip. And then we pull through. Okay, now, so this one's connected. Yay! And of course, we can push this tail to the back and this tail to the back. <clears throat> if I can get it. There we go. And then we turn our work. Oh, we got to connect these two, right? Okay. So, what we need to do now is we need to fix this. But it is an easy and quick fix. So, we need to undo this end. so that we can slip stitch it to the other side. No big deal. See? Just takes a little bit of fiddling. All right, so going to fix this up so that it works because we need our three doubles into here, right? chain one, and then we slip stitch to this side. And shaboom. And there we go. Rock on. Okay, so that is the end of our fourth triangle. Oh, don't you just love it? I'm loving it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> All right. So listen, if you guys would like me to continue on, you know, please give me feedback. Otherwise, I do not know. Um, you know, let me know if you want me to do a, a video where I'm doing the two rounds across and around the entire thing. I'll do it if you want me to. I don't mind, you know, but I need feedback. You know, otherwise I'm going to assume that you guys don't need it. And then I'll just continue on with the triangles, you know. So I, I'll be all ears until, you know... Um, I hear from enough of you guys to, you know, make a decision. And also, like I said, if you want to post some pictures, you know, and you would like me to feature them, then by all means, go to my Facebook page, you know, the spider, uh, <laughs> the fiber spider community page, uh, post some pictures, let me know that it, it is something that you would like me to showcase and I will do what I can. And, uh, yeah, we will go from there, okay? So until next time, stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.